Today part of April 2024 update, Microsoft released KB5036892 for Windows 10. You can open settings, update and security then hit check for updates to download and install the update. Today's update Advanced Windows 10 OS Build 19045.4291, you can run Winver command to check the same. This update add a new option to use Windows Spotlight as your desktop wallpaper, and also Microsoft is also rolling out sports, traffic, and finance content on the lock screen. Well the update download and installation may take some time depending on your internet connection speed, how fast it download required update files from Microsoft server and system configuration. Let it download and install 100%. Once download complete, restart Windows PC to apply changes. Well, if for some reason this update fails to install or you may encounter error, you can manually download and install the update from Microsoft Update Catalog. First visit Microsoft Update Catalog, click the search bar found at the top right of the page and search the KB number. Now choose the package that matches your device's configuration. If you are running an Intel or AMD based PC, you have to download the x64 package. If you have Snapdragon based ARM PC, then the ARM64 package is for you. Once download completes, double click on MSU file and click yes to let the installer do its work. Again you need to restart your computer to apply changes. After Windows restart, run Winver command to check the current build number. Now talking about what's new on today's update KB5036892 for Windows 10. This update makes miscellaneous security improvements to internal OS functionality. Also include all changes and features released on March preview update. Some of highlights include, today's update adds Windows Spotlight to your desktop background, which downloads and rotates images for your wallpaper. To configure this navigate settings then personalization and select background. Here you can personalize your background and choosing Windows Spotlight. Well this feature might not be available to all users because it will roll out gradually. This update also adds more content to your lock screen. In addition to weather, sports, traffic, and finance content will appear. To turn on this feature, go to settings then personalization and select lock screen. Here you can add weather, sports, traffic, and finance content to lock screen. And it looks like this on your lock screen. This update also addresses an issue that affects the touch keyboard. It does not open sometimes. And compatible devices may get an invitation to upgrade Windows 11 for free. It also resolves an issue with the touch keyboard failing to open and enhances Windows Hello for Business by allowing IT admins to disable post logon provisioning via MDM. It addresses problems affecting the Complus component leading to application unresponsiveness, ensures app and feature availability post Windows 11 upgrade, and fixes a deadlock in Cloud AP. The update also remedies access issues to network resources from remote desktop sessions with Remote Credential Guard enabled, fixes a launching issue for Microsoft Edge on Surface Hub, and strengthens security through updates to the anti-malware skin interface AMSI. Additionally, it corrects a mismatch in time service configuration between the Windows Settings app and MDM or GPO settings, fixes image loading issues with load image, and addresses scanner connectivity problems. The update also updates COSA profiles for mobile operators, ensures proper app locker rule enforcement, fixes group policy service failures post-audit policy application, and enhances the reliability of virtual remote app products. Microsoft also noted two known issues, first one include desktop icons may be moved around unexpectedly between monitors when using Copilot on more than one monitor. Users may also experience gather alignment issues, according to Microsoft. And the second one, Copilot in Windows is not supported if the taskbar is located vertically on the right or left side of the screen. 